Hello, my name is Darren Hart, Senior Service Technician with Raypack. After watching this video, you will be able to wire the transformer in order to provide power to your Raypack pool heater. The tools and materials you will need are a drill with a Phillips bit or Phillips screwdriver, 5 16 inch nut driver, wire strippers, and wire nets. This video is intended for heater modification prior to installation. If you are working on a heater that is already in place, verify the following before starting. Turn off the power source at the main breaker. The gas has been shut off to the unit and the system pump has been shut off. Before you begin, verify you have 120 or 240 volts by checking across the two incoming wires. If you find that you have 208 volts, contact a licensed electrician to have the voltage corrected and then proceed with this instruction. Using your fingers or the flat blade screwdriver, remove the knurled thumb screw on the door assembly. Pull the door assembly off and set it aside. Using a 5 16 inch nut driver, remove the transformer cover located on the right side of the heater. The transformer is attached to the back wall of the junction box. You will find four wires coming from the right side of the transformer, black, white, red, and green. On Lonox models, you will also find these same colored wires coming into the box from the left. These lead to the relay which powers the blower. Remove the lower grommet on the right side of the cabinet by pushing out from the inside. Feed wires in the half inch conduit terminal through the hole in the cabinet and secure the fitting with the locking nut. The heater may accommodate either 120 volt or 240 volt operation. The transformer must be wired differently for these two voltages. For 120 volts, strip back the ends of the incoming wires as well as the black, white, and green wires from the transformer. Attach the incoming hot wire to the black wire from the transformer using a wire nut. Attach the incoming white or neutral wire to the white wire from the transformer. Attach the green ground wires. Use a wire nut to terminate the red wire. For low NOx models, add each black, white, and green wire from the blower relay to their perspective color wires. For 240 volt wiring, make sure you have 240 volts by checking across the two hot leads at the source of the incoming wires. Strip back the ends of the incoming wires as well as the black, red, and green wires from the transformer. Attach the incoming black wire to the black wire from the transformer using a wire nut. Attach the incoming red wire to the red wire from the transformer. Attach the green ground wires. Use a wire nut to terminate the white wire. For low NOx models, add each black, red, and green wire from the blower relay to the respective colored wires. Reinstall the front door assembly. Turn the power, gas, and system pump on. For more information about this product, visit us at raypack.com. Please subscribe to the Raypack channel on YouTube for additional how-to videos.